Uh, this is the name tag LG Old LG Mini Split. D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified. And this old LG Mini Split, we gotta recently replace a control board. And the fuse on the board is not a replaceable fluid fuse, it's soldered onto the board. I had a video regarding that. I'll leave the link to it in the description so you can watch it. So here I am right now. I'm going to be uh, just soldering a regular fuse onto the board. All right. So here, here's a. It is a three, three point one, three point one two five amp fuse that's on the board. This is currently a three amp fuse. Um, actually. This is actually weaker because the fuse is actually at 250 volts. Oh no. So this actually works at 250 volts as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, use this right here. This is just a, a fuse holder I picked up from my supply house, supply store. All right, so I, the fuse goes in here. I'm gonna cut this wire right here. So the tools that I'm using is this. I'm just gonna cut this wire right here, strip it, and then I'm gonna tin it. This is my uh, TS100. I mean, it's a good day to do this, by the way. It's damp out here, right? This is my TS100 soldering iron. I'm just gonna use that to do it. And I got a little bit of solder right here, all right? And I'm gonna use this these uh, gator clips to steal power um, from the units. Yeah, so here's the power supply for the uh, soldering iron. So yeah, let's get to it, guys. I'm gonna do this real quick. Uh, I'll figure out, I'll show you guys this little thing right here. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so here is the board. And I got my, you know, this is 28 voice power. So I have, you know, my cheaters on line one, as you can see. Or so line two, line one, and ground. So I got 120 volts to my adapter here. So you got power screen. I didn't plug it into the soldering iron as yet because you know it's a bit damp out here. You got the board. So I also have the power unplugged from the board, the main power. So this is the cable right here. And plug it. Okay. So here is a uh, uh where is the fuse? The fuse is right here. Right there. My finger, those two, those two points. My finger is touching right now. Those are your fuse connection. And there is a fuse right there. A little block thing. Like I said, it's not replaceable. You have to replace the board. And you can see the size of the fuse right there. 250 volts at uh, 3.15 amps. I got a 3 amp fuse I'm putting in place. This right here. I'm just gonna solder the two wires back here, right here. Okay, so stay tuned. All right. So here's my soldering iron. Oh, it has the date in there. Is the date correct? I don't know. It's, I think that's, it says 10 1 20, whatever. But um, the tip is currently at 380, 370. This is a pretty cool soldering iron. But um, yeah, so it's done. Put this away. I can unplug this right now. I'm done with that. I just want to show you guys what I did, what I used, what it looks like. But um, I had it set to 450, the max setting. But yeah, the fuse is installed as you can see. See, I got one started. So I didn't quite, let me, let me just, hold on a second. Yeah, so I wanted to coat my tip of my soldering iron. Uh, I got to focus. I put some solder on it for storage. But you can see it's at 415 degrees. And the set point is at uh, 450. It's really rather cold out here. That's the reason why it's not getting to 450. But this is really good. The TS100. Alright, so let me just get back to what I was doing. Okay. So now I'm done with that. Tip is coated. A little bit of solder on the tip. So it's good. Alright, so. See where I was putting? Like right there. That's the fuse directly soldered. The fuse is directly soldered to that point right there. That's one side of it, the other side of it. And when I put the wire in there, uh, when I soldered the wire, 
the actual connection became a little bit loose and finicky. So I just, you know, if you look, it's the same strip from there to all the way here, it's the same strip. So I put it here, just much more secure, tighter connection. Is this thing still hot? No, I don't think so. And uh, here's the other one. Other wire right there that I saw on, right there. And now, so now we got the fuse. Yeah, we can change the fuse. We can, you know, I want to put this back into place and power the unit up. If, if the fuse pops, you know, we can troubleshoot. You know what I'm saying? We got to replace the board every time. This is an old unit and it's been giving some issues. So now we can troubleshoot. We got a fuse to replace. We got, I got a whole bunch of fuse over there. You know? So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I just went out, went ahead and notch out on the side of the box right here. So I can, you know, get these wire, bring these wires about. Okay, see so I can get some light on that. See what's going on. <clears throat> you see I just notch it out. I just use a pair of snips and just notch out the side of the box so I can just bring these wires about. Okay, so here's the finished product, the board is in. And I'm gonna go in and plug it in a real time, right? This light will flash, this green light will flash once the power is plugged in. So here's the power. I'll go ahead and plug that in. If you don't see me, I might get the rotation correct. I think it is. Oh, I'm still alive. All right. I can't see if the light is flashing. Let me turn this off. Oh, yep, there it is. Yep. We're alive, folks. It worked. All right, so there you go, real time. And the fuel, if you're that savvy, if you're tech savvy. Now, this right here is, is the plug for the, one of the condensing fans. There's another one right here. You can hear the valve, the LEV valve actuating down here. There's an LEV valve in the corner there. There it is, LEV valve. So yeah, it worked. Um, this unit ran for a while. We replaced the compressor in it. It ran for a while. And then, uh, it tripped the fuse on the board. Now again, the, the fuse on the board, it's a, it's a little thing right there, a little block thing right there. It's a fixed fuse. Once it's gone, you gotta replace the board. Now, I solved that problem, right? We can troubleshoot. Now, there's only two things that drops um, line power from this um, uh, board, and it's these two fans, top fan and the bottom fan. Everything else is just controls, you know, controls that draws from the board. So, when, when, I, when we tested it, uh, the fan in the bottom, I think it's the bottom fan. Yeah, it was running, turning rather slow. The caps is good, but the fan was turning rather slow. So I figure after time, it overheats, draws high amperage and pop the fuse. So right now it's unplugged. And the other fan is plugged in right there. And that's where it's unplugged from. You know what I'm saying? You can see that. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Other matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It's approved. Let me go to the hole. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go to the uh, indoor unit and I'm going to turn it on so we can see it runs. All right? Stay tuned for that. Okay. As you could see, it's running. All right? So the fan in the bottom, the, the, the bottom fan is just turning because, you know, the air is, you know, getting sucked from the top fan. But clearly, you can see that's spinning nice and fast. And if I compare to this unit, both fans here spins, you know, at the same speed, you know? So when I, when I, uh, the, the bottom fan was turning slow when I tested it. So I, I you know, I know that this, that's the reason why the, the, uh, the fuse bomb went. Well, let me walk around. So yes, I got a whole, you know, you know, carton of fuse right here, right? Like I said, it's just a little bit, it's a tad, it's a tad bit smaller um, uh, it's, it's 3 amps. There's a, I don't know what is it, what does it mean with 250 volts or 250 volts AC and 125, but the ratings on the actual fuse on the, the control board is, um, th um 3.15 amp at 250 volts AC. I'm assuming this is good, it's working. Uh, let me go around here. You can even hear the compressors on the way, right? And that's the that's the one that I that we replace. Yeah. Uh, the line is sweating, but you know it's kind of hard to tell because it's already it's damped out here. But yeah, it was a success. All right. If you like this video, yeah, she's charming away, man. Give it a thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed, subscribe. 
You know what I mean? I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Real world. Real time.